feeling very Britney, very Britney right now. And I mean, oops, I did it again. I bought from Team U. I'm gonna go like bury my head now. That was so bad. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia. On my channel, I love affordable fashion and beauty. So if you do too, then please sub and stick around. You guys, we have once again, another Team U haul. This is my fourth, I believe now. This one I purchased on my own. The prior one before they gave me $50 to you know show you guys what I could do with that. I have another one coming that will be about $100 worth that they gifted me, but this one I purchased myself. So if you wanna see what I got from this crazy affordable website that I'm so addicted to, keep on watching. Now, if you guys are completely new to Team U, go see my other videos. And I'm gonna tell you right now, don't get into this if you don't wanna be addicted to this site. I know, I learned about it from my friend, Sunny. I'll put her YouTube down below. And then now several of my friends are addicted and on their Instagrams, they're showing hauls too. So Team U is a lot like Wish and Shein. It comes from China. They do have a full disclosure on there about their ethics. And I do see some of that in just their shipping and policies and things like that. So very, very affordable. You can get all sorts of stuff from women's items, household, kids items, men, pets. It's insane. So this is a very varied um, haul right here. And I got all sorts of stuff. So let me tell you right now what I'm wearing. I'm going to pop it in, but I've got this little sports bra thing going on. I went ahead and just threw this jacket over it. This is from a former Team U haul. It's this satin bomber that's really cute and lined really nicely. I also have on some sweatpants on the bottom because yes, I film looking good up top and then the bottom, who knows what I'm wearing down there, but I'm gonna insert two clips so you can just see these a little bit better. And then I'll be right back to show you the pants that go with this. Okay, so this is what the two piece looks like on. Like I am absolutely shocked at how well this fits. It stretches and fits to the body like, and it's, I mean, amazing. It's so comfortable. I'm shocked. And this area, if you know what I mean, smooths that. No issues there. This top I thought for sure would not fit, but it does stretch. This makes the booty look so good. Like my butt does not look this good. <laughs> um, If they have more colors, I want them all. Like I'm shocked at I thought this was for sure going to be a fail and that it would not fit, but it's like, it's perfect. So comfy, thick, stretches. I'm obsessed with this. This is so good. Okay, so here are what these sweatpants look like. Clearly, I would not wear this out, <laughs> but I often film just waist ups and the bottom part is comfy, but I would definitely lounge in these pants at home with my fuzzy slippers like this. I'm glad I got them in a medium. They are a little short. I'm afraid when I wash them, they may be like this, but still for at home and lounging, they're still pretty perfect and really soft. And again, I'm glad I got a medium. I could probably do a large even, and maybe that will make them longer. But yeah, they're really comfortable and warm, fairly thick. So yeah, that's what the bottom half looks like. So now you know when I'm filming what I look like on the bottom. Okay, so you guys saw the pants that go with this top, but I'm telling you, so here they are, right here. Look how tiny these look like whenever I pulled them out, maybe they've stretched a little bit since I put them on, but like they were probably more like this. And I was like, oh honey, <laughs> uh -uh. like that ain't going on. Even though I'm fit, like that ain't going on. This stretches so much and so does this. I thought for sure the little sports bra thing was not gonna fit. I want, if they have more colors, I need to go look. I'll try to update below if they do, but I want them all, like 
they make me look like I have a booty, like I don't have a booty, and I try so hard to have a booty, okay? We all have our insecurities. One of mine is I wish I was curvier. I'm very athletically built, not a lot of curves, and so I have to work so hard to have that like boop butt, and these make me look like I've got that butt. Also, it covers that front area. You're not going to be like, you should be in a petting zoo, one of those animals, their toes. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't have that with these pants, so they're miracle pants. Like, I, I have to have more <laughs> if they have more colors. And then, yeah, these sweatpants, you saw, really comfortable. Like, I am, like, chilling down below right now. <laughs> really, really comfy. So, I also got this little teddy bear robe looking. I live in these at home. So I'm going to actually just pop this on. I haven't tried this on yet. Now I did get this in a larger size. Okay. I got it in a large and it is not that big. So with this definitely size up if you like, I love like a giant oversized anything when I'm at home and I kind of wanted this to be bigger, but it's actually, I mean, it's fine. It's not super little or anything, but yeah, like it's, does it have pockets? It does not have pockets. Very comfy, just perfect for being at home. I mean, you can kind of get away with running errands in this too. I don't think it looks too, too robe-like. Sometimes these look straight up like a robe, but it kind of looks cute with this color underneath that contrast. But yeah, very soft, very cute. I may go back and if they have an extra large, even get that. So it can be a little bit bigger, but this is really cozy. Also, you may, if you're noticing the rings here, I'll just point out that this one right here, this one, and then this one right here, those are all from Team U as well. I love their jewelry. I'm really hooked on them. These are not from this haul. They're from prior hauls, but rings are like two, four dollars at the most. And like this one, I mean, it really catches the eye. I've had people ask me like, are those David Yerman or those whatever brands that I don't know? I'm like, no, they were like $2. So their jewelry is so good. And I do have some necklaces in here to show you next. Okay, now I've mentioned on other videos that I really like to search men's necklaces because I tend to really like those styles. I don't think these were men's, but I can't exactly remember, but they come, you know, just in something like this. And then they've got this protective plastic on. So you just gotta undo that. But like, look at how pretty and cool this is with your different colors and just kind of faux stones in there. And then you just do like a little clip in like, Okay, it took me a minute, but I just used this and I inserted it and kind of went like that to open it up. And then you just stick it in and clamp it down like that. And then you've got your necklace. Really cool. This one I love. It is so pretty. Like, look at this iridescent. Is that not just so freaking pretty? Oh my gosh. I could see this being so cool with like a tee. I love like a graphic tee, like skull tee say that's black. And then you've got like something like blingy and pretty like this. <gasps> I love it. Okay, how about I show you guys something really exciting, socks. No, I got, I think there were six pair. They're really thin white socks, but I wanna say they were like a dollar something for six pair. So for six to just like grab and go, who cares if they get holes in them? Regular socks do too. You know, a dollar something, can't beat it. Okay, we have some shoes. Now, I'm not sure if these are wins or not. They are okay. Let me just show you. So I got these lace-up boots. They are really cute. Are they the best? quality like are they Louis Vuittons no are they even like Aldo no but I think for the price I want to say they were under $20 but I think like far away even up close they don't look terrible you just do have to lace them up yourself 
I love little like netted booties like this. I think that they're so cute because they're kind of edgy and kind of classic at the same time. Really cute with a skirt. So I think those were a win, but these I'm a little bit unsure about because I think these do look slightly cheaper. So they look a little plasticky, but again, I think from far away, they're pretty cute. They've got this little faux diamond thing here with this hardware and this faux kind of like, it doesn't really look snaky or more like a diamond print. I think from far away, they actually do look pretty nice. And I believe these were under 20 as well. Now these, these may be, I don't know. Oh, by the way, we still have a Christmas tree up. I think you guys are seeing this like mid January. Hopefully it's down by now. So these are those like iridescent strapped little sandals. Again, I think that the theme with shoes is from far away and in pictures on camera, I think they'll look great, you know, but this is super flimsy. Like I could see this ripping pretty easily, but I mean, I think if I only wear them, you know, like every once in a while, you know, if I'm not walking around in them a ton and it's more show, more so for show, I think they're actually pretty cool. So there are the shoes and they were all in like UK sizing. So just take note of that to make sure you get your correct size. Okay, this is a bag I actually got for my daughter and it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is for her dance bag and it is so big but it looks really nice. Like, look at this. It actually looks like a travel bag or, you know, like a gym bag for a grown up. Is, I think this is in Chinese, Chennai, Chennai, take you to see the world. That's what it says. I mean, barely can see it down here. But yeah, it's just this iridescent lavender bag. It's actually really, really cute. It has a, extra pocket down here. Like I guess if you were putting shoes in it, a pocket detail right here. Let's see inside if it has, there's a small pocket inside here as well. And I think this can also, yeah, this buttons up here somehow, but yeah, this is really, really cute. So a little bit big for my six-year-old daughter dance, but you could fit a whole lot in this if you're looking for a gym bag. And I think they had other colors as well. Okay, this kind of comes full circle because the first time I ever went on this website, I was drawn in by seeing all of these colored eyeliners for so cheap. Every time I've been on there, I've meant to order them and I have forgotten every time. I finally, ordered them. So they are the Hendayan brand. I actually have highlighters from this brand that are really good. They're diamond shaped. And this comes with, gosh, so many, 20, 20 gel liners. And I opened up a few. I was trying to find one that was open. I don't know that these are incredibly pigmented right off the bat. Where is one that is opened? I swear I opened one. Um, let's see this black one is. So I think they're one of those that they kind of need to warm up a little bit, but actually, yeah, see when you go back over it, that's really pretty good, really smooth. Kind of reminds me of like LA colors, that sort of, um, quality, which is actually really good. And I think all of these were like $7. So you're getting them for like less than 50 cents a piece. That's really good. And there's like every color under the sun. So if you love to do different eye colors, you know, your gel liners, this may be a really, really, really good buy for you. I also got these blushes. So we have a cream blush that is purple. This is July Star is the brand. Let me get it open here real quick. With their makeup, I've sort of noticed that they don't really name them, it's just a number. So this is O2. And it is like a peachy apricot. Let's just see. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. That's, shoot, that's pigmented. Looks very like shimmery. 
That is pretty. And then we have this purple that is 05, and this is purple, purple. I really didn't have like a blush. This is not the right place for me to be swatching on my hand, but whoa, those are so cool. Obviously, it would go smoother, you know, on your cheek than my bumpy, bony hands, but wow, that is so cool. If that's too shimmery for you, that might be a really cool, like, eye product, but I'm excited to play with those. That's, that's exciting. Okay. This I opened and I'm like, this is not the color I was expecting it to be. It is very, very, very light. It is from Kiss Beauty is what it says. And the embossing is beautiful. It's stuck in there, but it is, oh, you know what? I don't think this is a blush. I think this is a finishing powder and I bet this lavender is supposed to do something. I bet that's why. So it is this very light, light lavender. I don't even know if you can see the embossing on this. The embossing is really pretty with these flowers, but I think this is, it says for the cheeks, but lavender can kind of color correct sometimes, like help with, I don't remember if it's like yellowness or something like that, counteract it, but I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see if I can make it work in some way for me. It's definitely not a blush for me. By the way, I was gonna mention, those liners do come off really easily. They're not like waterproof liners, just FYI. This is a glitter primer, and it looks like it's supposed to be a dupe for the NYX glitter glue. So I haven't tried this yet. This is from that same brand, the Hadayan brand, but it looks just like the NYX glitter glue. If it works the same, then this is probably about a third of the price. Then we have these faux nails, or just press-on nails. Really, really cute. I've been really into press-on nails, but I've kind of learned that I can only do them like once a month. I can make them last a good week or so, give or take. And then they need a full three weeks to heal, get the glue to come all the way off. So I can really only do them about once a month, but I thought these would be super pretty for spring. And then this is so pretty. It does not smell that good, okay? This is from Mac Andy and it's the Art Ballet Actress. Look at this packaging. This is a perfume. I got this for my daughter. Who cares if it smells good? Like maybe she'll think it smells good, but she actually has pretty good taste. And even though she's six, look at this. It looks like a ballerina. Is that not crazy? How gorgeous this is. And then this is how it pops off. So it's actually not that bad for like a, I think this was nine dollars or something like that for this insanely gorgeous packaging what that's amazing so i don't want to spray it on me i'm scared it's not terrible it's not something i would wear it's kind of florally fruity more floral it's not like you would think, okay, it's $9. That gorgeous packaging is going to smell terrible. It's not that bad. Just not something I would wear, but it's worth it for this packaging. So cute. Now the last two items are household items. I've had this stuff for a little while. So I did already open this and was using this in my bathroom. This is a little space heater and our other one burned out, wouldn't work anymore. And it was more of like a bulky black. This is a slim white and then you can add like these little gold antlers to it if you want to that come with it now this is not very powerful at all we put it in our bathroom i thought it was fine to just like have on the counter if you stepped back from it a little bit you could kind of feel the heat come if you held right up to it you didn't feel it as well it's like it needed that space really quiet because the motor is very very soft this is not your like overpowering heater. My husband now has it in the office, his office, and he has it as at his feet. So it does work a little bit, but it's not going to like heat your whole room. This is more like if you want something right at your feet, right next to you. And it is very, very, very slim and doesn't take up a lot of space. And the last item are king size satin sheets that are black. And I'm so excited to put this on my bed and show you guys what it looks like. I obviously have not done that yet. I kind of felt through this hole 
and they do feel really nice. I wanted black because like our pug, his hair gets everywhere and we find white hairs. Our dog is black, our other dog, Phoebe, that sleeps with us. So this should hopefully conceal her hair. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna pop it on my bed and I'm actually gonna show you guys what that looks like. And then I will come back and wrap this up. Okay, so here are the sheets. <laughs> They're really, really wrinkly. Um, they got wadded up in the washing machine, so they kind of look like a trash bag right now. But I will say the quality is pretty nice on this, and they're a legit king because we've gotten king size before that ended up shrinking and not fitting the bed. But these are, you know, they're really large, fit the bed nicely, and yeah, we just... <laughs> need those wrinkles to come out, but I'm happy with them. And they also came with two pillow shams as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this team you haul. I just wanted to remind you guys that you do your first three orders, you get 30% off, which is amazing. And I mean, all of this was under $200 under $160 actually. So, I mean, $150 for like king size satin sheets, a space heater, three pairs of shoes, a workout outfit, a couple of necklaces, makeup, a perfume, like that is insane. It still blows my mind how much you can get. I did get a little bit more expensive items this go around, so I didn't get quite as much for the money, but I still got a lot of good stuff. So you guys go check them out. <laughs> Warning, you will get addicted. Be on the lookout for my next team you haul. It is going to also be a little bit varied and have a couple of little girls clothes in it as well. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.